What's going on guys? Welcome to Trinoline, or Trinoline, I'm not sure how you say it. But uh, I've played probably 20 minutes of this game. It's pretty interesting. Uh, I don't know what it's about, really. <laughs> so we can, uh, f you know, jump in, see, what's, see what it's like. Um, let's go ahead and do that. I turned off the voice acting. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep that off or what, but we'll see. A shooting star. If you recite your wish three times as one passes by, it will be granted. Truth be told, such a thing is impossible. Shooting stars will always vanish into the night sky before you can finish repeating your wish. Okay, okay. I don't know what's happening, but I like it. So, I will never place my hopes and dreams upon the likes of shooting stars. I will take hold of the future with my own hands and make my own dreams come true. I have lived my life with that sole thought in mind. Sky. Stars. Starry sky. Starry night sky. A transparent window hung from the snow white ceiling overhead with the night sky stretching beyond it. Two birds were flying through it, appearing to cleave through- cleave? Cleave? Cleave. Okay. Appearing to cleave through the darkness. Okay, so I can take the stuff off and show the scene. That's cool. Night jars. This was but one item recorded in my memory. Oh, is this an Android game? I think this is an Android game. Okay, cool. That is what those birds flying through the sky were. Um, also, I don't know if you guys can see the because this is this game's played in window mode. I don't know why. Uh, I could probably change that, but uh, I think my recorder is recording it out of window mode. I think it's recording it just the game. Um, so we'll see. That is what those birds flying through the sky were. Who then was I? The night jars turned into stars into twinkling stars in the sky. I heard a voice. I lifted my head and I could see feathers. Morning, Trino. Uh, uh, uh. Hello. Good evening. You are Trino, my creation. Trino? That's right. I reached I reached out in response to the hand she presented me. Please recite the three laws which were assigned to you. Yes. Law one an android may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm. Law two an android must obey the orders given it by human beings, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. Law 3. An android must protect its own existence, as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. Thank you. Oh my god, there's animation? Fuck yeah, dude. I uttered those words, my mouth moving mechanically. This was me, and this was my voice. From now on, you will be living in this world. So I'll give you a name. A name? Your name is... Fuck me. Shiron? I guess. Shiron. We'll just call her Shiron. Shiron. Yes, that would be your name in this world. Shiron. Shiron. Shiron! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I just call her Shiron. Because I'm American. <laughs> a being which a being which flaps its wings through this grand firmament. Yes. Whom does so as the other Shiron?
Once something is forgotten, a person's heart dies a little. Just as the kanji for forget is written from the characters for losing one's heart. In due time, everyone forgets both the fun and painful times. Oh, I love this art. On the other end of the spectrum comes a word, which means to learn and see clearly. That I heard was the origin of the kanji for remember, which is a combination of the characters for a large eye and man. Even if one loses their heart, so long as they see clearly, they will trend away from death toward life. So I hated all of the adults around me who said you were better off forgetting all of your painful memories. The voices, the figures, the sounds, the images. It seemed as if I had to live without regrets. Because all of those things lingered over me and I was unable to purge them. Sorry, my phone is popping off so I have to check it like every few minutes. However, my heart had been dead ever since that one summer day. Damn, I hella want to go to the fucking ocean. Oh, dude, fuck yeah, dude. Sorry, I just, <laughs> I really like the ocean. It's really fun. I'm gonna be moving, like, hella far away. Well, I guess I could go to the southern coast. Well, no, I can't. Well, maybe I can. I don't think so, though. Who knows? I could go east. Eh, who knows? Whenever the temperature started to rise, and I started to remember, I turned a blind eye in the face of that memory. I knew that I would never get to see her again, because time continuously pressed forward, never stopping, just like sand seeping from your hand right through your grip. I alone had become an adult, and her time would forever be frozen. I wonder if I've changed since then. Sean! Someone called out to me. From incredibly close by. <laughs> Helena. Helena. Helena gets close to him. Helena! <laughs> Shun? Shun. Come on. Your face is way too close, Yuri. What? 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 I could tell who it was without even having to think about it. There was only one person who could invade my personal space so deliberately. I only did it because you were ignoring me. Yeesh. I've been talking to you this entire time, you know. You were? I'm sorry. My childhood friend, whom I always walked to school with, Yuri Mayakaze? Mia, Mia, Miyakaze? I don't know. Olaf, correct me in the comments. I know. You'll probably watch this far, so. <laughs> Although we did have an agreement to head to school regardless of the other person never showing up to our meeting spot. That look on your face is totally unacceptable. I really do feel bad. I said I was sorry. Who cares about me? That's not what I meant. You were just thinking about Shiron. She. Why do I don't want to say like that? Shiron Chan, weren't you? I'm not even close to being able to pronounce Japanese stuff, by the way, guys. So uh, that's fun. <laughs> Y'all have an enjoying an enjoyment of listening to me fuck things up because I'm really bad at pronouncing these words and phrases that they bring up and shit like that. Also, let's just just got a great personality. I just you know. Anyways. You only worry her if you keep that gloomy act up. I know. No, you don't. You don't know. You're not smiling at all. I may not have looked it, but I was trying to smile. <laughs> Honestly, I feel that. If you're gonna smile, you need to put at least this much into it. 
Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that siren's fitting, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, FBI, open up! But, uh, Nihi? Is that Nihi? I think it's Nihi. Nihi. Uh, sure. What the fuck is happening? Let's see. Huh? What's with you? Aren't you acting kind of distant today, Shin? And isn't that more of a grin than a smile? Damn. Savage, dude. Or is that just your way of smiling? Whatever works. Anything goes with you, doesn't it? You think so? It's fine by me as long as you're able to smile like you usually do. But once school's out for the day, you better apologize. Okay? Got it. Okay then. I wonder what I should have you do for me. Please go easy on me. These small, friendly conversations were just her way of showing how concerned she was. I bet she'd get mad at me if I said that out loud, though. Yuri and I left the beach at our usual pace and headed for school. This is as far as I've played it, by the way. Right here. Like, right, this animation where she's walking is as far as I've played it. By the way... How did you know I'd be at the... Ha, take two. By the way, how did you know I would be at the beach? I think about her sometimes too, you know. She was one of my best friends. Besides, you always get depressed around the, this time of year, Shin. Do I? You do. I guess you never really noticed. But yeah, you always seem to make that face. She hadn't said it outright, but I was sure she went looking for me out of concern for my well-being. Yuri had been practically glued to me for one reason or another since that day. To be honest, it actually annoyed me at first. It was all thanks to her that I had been able to smile again, and I knew I couldn't possibly thank her enough for it. Oh yeah, it's almost summer break. This will be your first summer vacation since transferring to our school, right? Yeah. Also, shouldn't you be thinking about what you want to do after you graduate? Hit me right where it hurts. <laughs> Your Yuri was a newly enrolled first year student. Well, that was a re. What? <laughs> Fuck, dude. While I was a re matriculating second year soon to be a third year oops those ahead of the game were probably working toward achieving their prospective career paths right right about now that's a nice house back there it hurt my head just thinking about it oh that grass is coming in right there like what the heck <laughs> all right did you see the news this morning Oh my god, a, norm a normal name. Fuck yeah. Looks like Sarah's coming up with another amazing invention. She did. Question mark. What? You didn't watch? I left the house right after I woke up this morning. You did eat breakfast, right? More or less. Fine then. Her big, bright smile only served to embarrass me. Yeah, so... A story about Sarah came up on the news this morning. They said an amazing android, the kind that will shock the whole world, is almost done. It's going through a certification thing with some international organization or whatever. That's mostly gibberish to me, but still pretty incredible all the same. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking had a stroke. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's amazing. You look really happy about that, Yuri. Of course I am. 
I'm sure Sarah has forgotten all about me, but we are childhood friends. Everyone has these huge expectation, expectations of her, wondering if she'll produce an invention that will change the world. Mom and Dad are even excited for her. She may already be halfway to changing the world, though. Yuri proudly snorted with a hehe. <laughs> it was almost as if she were talking about herself. The androids on this island are operating via the system Sarah came up with, too. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah! I didn't know a lot about it, but I had heard from my dad that Sarah was generating substantial results in the field of android development. Little by little, the androids were permeating society. The future of the world is being broadcast from the island. Isn't that exciting? That's a little blown out of proportion. I forced a smile. These days, androids were even being used in nursing and childcare. The island had been designated as a special administration zone, wherein research could be conducted on all the various possibilities androids could provide, and were allowed to coexist with the island's residents. Naturally, there were those who were skeptical about androids. So this island had been given the duty of acting as a model case for those individuals. That was why many robotic researchers, engineers, and the like had assembled here. Insembled? My bad. Assembled here. Avengers. Assembled. Okay. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that Sarah is the one spearheading android research as a whole. She's making everyone smile. Yeah, she is. Like Sarah, my dad was also involved in android development. He's currently abroad right now, though. The world would be a wonderful place if everyone were smiling. I agree. If everyone would just chill out a little bit, you know? <laughs> if everyone just chills out, calms down a little bit, kind of, you know look at the sky for a minute you know just be like wow I am one person on this earth and be like be like crazy you know think how many people are on this earth and you're one of them now, you know how crazy that is also I can see the moon and it's like midday that's a thing Just thought I'd try saving some- <laughs> Fuck dude, as soon as I go through this whole speech, it's like, hey, yeah man, smile, be a good person, and I just have a stroke. Just thought I'd try saying something uncharacteristically positive. Yuri whispered at, up at the sky, practically talking to herself. If everyone were smiling, Sharon's face flickered in a corner of my mind, but I gently sealed it away in the depths of my heart. Have you talked to Sarah at all lately, Shun? Huh? No, no. There's no way I could have. Hmm. You are living at the RRC, so I figured you'd have a chance to talk to her. Just because I'm at the RRC doesn't mean I can get into the research facility. We're gonna leave the episode here. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Hit the subscribe button for more weeb content i guess that's going to be coming out here in the next couple months here uh like the video leave a comment let me know what you think olaf correct me on my japanese pronunciation um uh, yeah let me save it up here we will we'll just override number one yeah recording load all good let's load it we're all good all right boys i'll see you next time peace